for Christopher Cortez. Is a fastball right down the heart first strike. One, two. Swing, miss, he struck him out. He has two two-hit games. Grounded left side, past a diving Grohovac and into left field. It's a one-out single. Came inside, he tied him up. Swing and a miss, he struck him out. Back-to-back -back strikeouts here at the top of the first. This is a shot to left field, so both lefties go the other way. First and second, two down. Pitch. Check swing. Appeal to first, no swing, says Scott Klein. Bases are loaded. Then he settled in to really dominate in his last three. Bouncing ball to the right side. It's fielded by Targoch with Cortez covering. For out number three. One, two. Swing and a miss. He wanted the slider away. One down. 0-2. Oh, There's a roller on the right side and into right field. The two-strike single. And Jace, he's hustling. He's got himself two bases. When Jack Shell went over into right center, not quickly enough, Jace takes full advantage. One strike on him and a wheel towards second and balk. Well, Jim Schlossnagel saw it. He was almost past the warning track out in front of the AM dugout calling for the ball. The one, two. A little slide step down and in. That gets away from the catcher, Skinner, and Laviolette will score. Skinner's throw to the plate actually hits Montgomery, who is out of the dirt circle. How pitch and a sacrifice fly. Swing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm like, it's got to get better than this. <laughs> Swing and a miss. He comes back from 3-0. He struck out. Oh, missing so low, they had to bring that up. And he gets another strikeout. That is number three. Baseball number, OK. Back up the middle, under the glove of Cortez and into centers. He's toppled like a bowling pin on the mound. That's the third single, the first righty to him. One, two. A roller to second. Kent goes to Camarillo for one to Targotch. Got him! Dos Eckes double play. And the right-hander Jackson Cleveland. This one is going to stay fair and sail on out of here. Teddy Burton off the tower in left. That's Teddy four bags for y'all. His second of the year. It's 2-0 Texas A&M. You can go anywhere you want in that strike zone, just don't go there again. No. 102 off the bat, 411 feet. And you knew it off the bat. <laughs> the 3-2 to Dodge. Under the hands again, too far inside, it's ball four. Missed on four pitches. Almost be good to mention with this first pitch. Bouncing ball to short. Camarillo backs up. Underhand toss Kent. They get one. He bluffs to first. No turn. Big turn around third. So the fielder's choice first and third with one away. Runners at the corners. The 1 0 is back up the middle. And Lamar gets its first run on the RBI single by Braden Evans. He's driven in his fifth. That could have messed everything up. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. He chased that pitch. Down and away, strikeout number four. To Grohovac, past him, he tried to backhand it. Coming around to third is Orsak, and this game is tied at two. Two down runners, first and second, two are in. Ground ball to Camarillo. Nice pick of the short hop, and over to Targach for outs number three. Five and two-thirds innings, seven hits, five runs all learned. This is skied down right field line by the bullpen, and that's going to sail on out of here. Jace Laviolette, high and deep enough. Breaking the tie, 3-2, Texas A&M. Ford Covington with his sixth home run. get what 340 where he hits it and as Orsak goes to that wall the SEC logos shot draws a walk 
with two outs here in the third. First two away, two and two to Burton. He launches another one towards left. It's a liner. It's off the base of the wall. Shot is hustling. He'll stop at third. There's two bags for Ted Burton. So that's why. Second and third. He'll get two there away. eventually. The three-two pitch. He hits this a long way. Hello, section twelve. Over section twelve. A three-run home run for Jackson Appel. He hits it 4.45 to right. His first homer as an Aggie, his first RBIs. It's three of them with one swing of the bat. 6-2 a and -M. Havard out, Mosley in on the mound for the Cardinals. The one-two, swinging, hard hit, opposite field. In right on the run, nope. and not able to make the catch on the slide as Orsak and rounding first and heading to second is Kevin Rio. Hit it pretty well to right toward the line, and it was a long run for Orsak. By inning in two thirds in the win over UTSA. Trickler, third base side. Thrown out as Caden Kent, but it moves Kevin Rio to third. Pitch on its way, swinging, ground ball. That is up the middle, and it's under the glove of Barnado, and it will score Camarillo. Back up the middle, did his job, and it got through the infield. <laughs> Full count pitch to Braden Montgomery. That will miss, and he walks, and there are two aboard. Full count pitch to Hayden on its way. That missed outside. And for the second time tonight, shot will draw a walk. The bases are loaded. Different count. Swing and a miss on the 3-2 pitch. And he struck out Ted Burton. Hit hard into the right center field gap. Ryan Targach, a base knock. Big round of first base, but he will stay put right there. Nice job by River Orsak getting into the gap. Here it is, the 3-2. Upstairs, too high, ball four. Ali Camarillo walks. AM has runners on first and second. Up the third base line, his last time up. Hit this hard. Pass the diving first baseman, Braden Evans, into right field. Caden Kent drives home. Ryan Targotch, and on all of that, on the single, Ali Camarillo went around to third base. Eight to two, AM. Skinner's got to be good back there. Hard hit center field, backing up at the track. Will it get out of here? No, he brought it back, but he didn't make the catch. I think he just saved the home run, did Jack Shell in center field, but he didn't make the catch. The ball fell to the turf, and a run will score as Grahovac gets to second, and Kent goes to third. Camarillo is in. It's nine to two Aggies. Here's a swinging Jace Lobulet. He looped that into center field, and that's a base hit. One run home. Here comes another play at the plate. Sliding in safely is Gavin Grahovac, and that's after Caden Kent had already scored. And Jace Lobulet, couple of RBIs there. He's driven in three tonight at 7 a.m. on Monday. Three uh, high on the uh, pitch to Montgomery. He hope, walks hope. last year. In the dirt, spiked, and it got away from the catcher, Zach Skinner. Really nothing he could do about that. Wild pitch, Lavulet moves to third. Montgomery goes to second. Swinging, center field. Won't get down. It'll be run down by Jack Shell, but that will bring Lavulet home from third base. Another two-strike pitch. This is hard hit, ground ball. Base hit, that goes back up the middle. Here comes Braden Montgomery around third. He will score. RBI knock for Ted Burton. He's three for four tonight. Next pitch, swinging, fly ball, left field. Tracking back and in front of the wall on the warning track. Luke Bumpus will make the catch. That will end the inning. Mm -hmm. This is the entire beginning of the season. One, two pitch, strike three, he struck him out. They beat Presbyterian four to three and the Bulldogs are eight. Now 
outside for a ball on the 3 2. It's a walk by Jason Bowden to 1 1 pitch, leg kick and delivery, swinging. One hopped, Caden Kent short hopped him. It was a looping liner, and then it hit the turf, and it was a short hop on Caden Kent, and he couldn't come up with it. 1 1 hit into center field. Moving over, Jace Lavulette, he'll make the catch. The 0-2 to Shell. Got him, swing and a miss. He struck him out. The fifth. And a little looper into shallow right field coming on is Caden Sherell. He made a diving catch on Sunday. He makes that running catch in shallow rights. Two down bases empty, three and two to Ricky Sanchez. Montgomery tapped towards third, Grahovac. Double clutches, throws across the diamond in time. A one, two, three, seventh for Braden Montgomery and the fight in Texas Aggies run rule Lamar by a final of 13 to two, and they are eight and oh, sweeping the homestand.